Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shuchita. I make videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle and home decor. In today's video, I'm bringing something very exciting and probably long awaited. Uh, I'm bringing my living room tour. So what I'll do is I'll make over the entire space once again to show you guys how I decided on uh, different elements and how it all came together and uh, uh, you know blended uh, seamlessly. Our living room faces northeast, so we get plenty of sunlight uh, up until noon. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a really uh, that's a really important reason why we chose this particular layout because of course sunlight is very important. The kind of decor style that I'm mostly gravitated towards is modern organic. So this particular room is definitely has that touch. So there'll be natural elements mostly and there's going to be plenty of frames because I'm somebody who loves putting art uh, on display. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So this is what we're starting with. We have removed everything uh, so that we have a clean slate to begin with. And this is the only thing that I've not removed because it's very heavy. Um, so this stays here and it will anyway stay here. So I've uh, left it and uh, all the lighting fixtures have been installed. So there is one here, there is one there which I will show you later on. And I've got my Wi-Fi installed. I'll try my best to hide this uh, so that, I mean I just don't like the look of wires and everything. Uh, so I'll try my best to hide that. And now we move to the other side. So over here we have installed the TV. This is the Samsung Frame TV, uh, which is basically a TV that doubles up as an art. I've already put like a shot on my YouTube channel. You can go and watch that. Uh, this is uh, an investment piece for me because uh, I just did not look. I just did not want the look of a TV. So I opted for a Frame TV, which means you can uh, when you're not watching the TV. Uh, you can leave it on the art mode uh, so that it looks like a frame as you can see the even the thickness of it is uh, just like a frame uh, so yeah i uh, really like it i've got that tv installed and it, uh, it it comes with a uh, receiver which basically you can hide in any basket or anything i have installed uh, uh, a lighting here and this basically is like a focus light which you can put on top of frames and everything. So the idea is I want to make this entire wall into a gallery wall kind of situation. Which is why I went for the frame TV. So yeah, let's just get started. This is this part. Now let's move on to the entryway. So this is my entryway. I have put some shoe cabinets here. These are the ones from IKEA. Really inexpensive shoe cabinets. I probably share the link in the description box below. And what I've done is I've just added knobs on top of it. And as you can see, this takes minimal space. Um, like I can easily open my door. This doesn't get obstructed. I have opted for four of these boxes. So this is already installed. So this is what we're working with right now. And now let's try and uh, make over the space. So the first thing that we're starting with is a rug. Uh, I would always uh, recommend starting out with a rug. And uh, when you're choosing a rug, make sure you always opt for a bigger size. If it is out of your budget, then I'd suggest going for like a jute rug because they are relatively inexpensive. And uh, what uh, it does is it basically gives you a foundation to start with. Uh, it also kind of helps you understand where to put your sofa, where to put your extra chairs and all of that. So the idea is, uh, I think the rule of th thumb is uh, uh, at least uh, two of your front legs of the sofa should be on the rug, and uh, at least the two, at least the legs of your uh, armchair should be uh, on the rug. So that's how big your rug should be, ideally. All right. So I have chosen this jute rug because uh, jute rug is especially good for places where uh, where which expects a lot of uh, traffic, which means. Suppose if you have kids or your or pets, I think jute drug is a safe option to choose. And I have also opted for jute drug mainly because it is uh, spill resistant. So even if you drop something on it, you can easily clean it 
or you can barely even notice it and uh, yeah that's why I've chosen this so let's start with the wrap first and uh, what you'll also notice is I have hung the curtains over here and these are basically room darkening curtains which means uh, especially during the summers you can just pull the curtains and your room will be uh, pitch black I got these from IKEA they are relatively cheaper than the curtains uh, than the curtains in your local store I would say it also blends in with my decor style I'm gonna start off by placing the sofa first. This is a really really comfortable sofa that I got from IKEA. Although this is a two-seater, it can easily uh, sit three people. So I've put the basket over here so that whatever cords that we're using can go inside it. And uh, even the newspapers that we read can later on be uh, hidden inside it. I think baskets are a great uh, uh, alternative to any storage uh, box or anything because they look uh, really nice and you can easily hide stuff uh, inside it. Now I have added like a side table over here which will actually, where I will actually put the lamp. But as you can see, I've, this has also hidden the uh, Wi-Fi router and uh, you can't really see it uh, from here so i think uh, you have to kind of uh, do these hacks to hide the pots and everything you know, in your home and this is a very beautiful table that i got from amazon it was a steel i think i got it in uh, about 2000 or something like that i if i can find the link i'll leave it in the description box below I think it's a very beautiful uh, side table. Next, I'm gonna place these armchairs. These are so so beautiful. I got these custom made from a local vendor, and I absolutely love the color, the texture, everything. So this is what I was talking about uh, when I said uh, the dimension of the rug. Uh, the the front legs of the armchair are on the rack and even the front legs of the sofa is on the rack so this is ideal size of the rug that you should be getting next i'm gonna place the ottoman and as you can see i have opted for an ottoman instead of a table because i wanted every furniture to have like a softer appearance and uh, yeah that's that's the reason why and also uh, as you can see this is not an l size sofa so if we have to put our legs up which we typically do so we can uh, use this uh, as like a rest all right let's move on to hanging art on this wall i have not put any uh, glass or anything in this to give it a uh, vintage white and also to something this looks like his grandfather she really does not but yeah, I, I really like this uh, painting a lot. When it comes to art, I actually like to shop on Etsy for downloadable prints and then get them printed from a local uh, print shop. That is a really inexpensive way to have art in your home. Okay, next I'm placing this contemporary side table which has a very beautiful leg. Adding this basket near the entryway for uh, extra shoes and everything. And then I'm placing this pot uh, right next to it, which I DIY'd. It's like an aged pottery uh, situation. Next, I'm placing this wicker lamp that I got from Amazon. Stay tuned for the Amazon haul. I have uh, made this uh, out of, uh, I think it's called paddy, uh, which you uh, typically use hang on top of your uh, door a lot of people do in south india so i've made an art out of it uh, i think a great way to really customize your home is to add some art that is uh, that speaks to you or that you would have made uh, i think it's a great way to uh, customize your space then moving on to the finishing touches i'm adding this to my entryway a plant and a key holder then I'm gonna add my cushions. Next, I'm 
Next, I'm gonna style this ottoman situation. I'll add some uh, styling books and then a tray which can hold other things. Next, I'm gonna add a throw blanket of yoke. I'll place a vase over here and then uh, I'll be adding a seating over here so that I can sit and tie my shoes. So let's roll the tape back and see what the space looked like before. This is what we were starting with. Uh, it was absolutely empty. There was nothing in here. And this is what the space looks like now. And uh, as you can see, I have not uh, uh, built anything as in uh, permanent. So this is totally a renter friendly uh, way of uh, making over the space. So that's how the space looks like now. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more such content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take care.